Mathieu Lutin from the Netherlands. Um, I have a company with my colleague Oscar Rosa and uh, many different people who work with us. It's a company that helps organizations to find the soul and then based upon these findings live the soul. Uh, I have education in design and in communication and marketing and in classical music as a pianist. And I apply all the things that I've learned into my work and sharing it with others and unlocking the capacities for people to actually uh, give positive contrib contributions to the world around them. It was 2004 when I was first uh, uh, brought to the EBF by my colleague Oscar Rosa. And at that moment I heard some of the talks, and one of the talks was from Augusto Lopez Claros, or Claros Lopez, I always forget. And he uh, shared with me, and I'm not quoting here, I'm interpreting, that governments are completely incapable of solving the issues and the challenges that lies ahead. And that entrepreneurs and organizations are actually the people who have the capability of have instant change into this world and commitment to actually fulfilling this. The EBBF for me is uh, people who inspired me. It is a place where uh, my thoughts are confirmed and where I'm encouraged to bring these uh, ideas, thoughts and principles into reality. It's a, a network of encouragement, I would say. If you want to reach to a certain goal, if you want to hit something, the thing that you want to hit is the purpose. It's the direction more than a specific goal. And the why is putting the strength on your own. That there's basically two types of, of focus. One is focused on happiness and the other one is focused on meaning. And people who foc focus on happiness mainly talk or think about what's good for them. It's about oneself. And this is not only egoistic, materialistic perspective, but it could also be intellectual growth or spiritual growth. But at the end, it's about you as a person. And people who strive for meaning are focused on the other. They want to contribute to something that's bigger than themselves. This perspective on the difference of happiness and meaning inspired me to focus on the question, what can I contribute? And in this process, I've learned that the power to also look to what makes you happy gives you the energy to contribute. So both of the, aspect, uh, of the parts, as well happiness, striving for happiness, as striving for meaning, are connected. Well, I feel then in my work, most of the time, the conversation is about what meaning do we give to life? Which is always focused on how can I contribute to the life of others? My wish is to actually extend the experience that I have and share this with others and encourage others to join in this journey of living your dream uh, through the process of contributing. And in the word contributing, this is where the power is. When I discovered the word contributing, for me, it, it reflects in that sense that I, I can never reach this. Contributing is like the horizon. It travels with me throughout my life. 